Ay, ay, ay. People throughout the world, man, woman, boys, and girls, we come into you one more time with the song, praise God. Mm -hmm. Want to know more about you, Christ Jesus, my Lord, praise God. That's the name of the song, want to know more about you. But we want to give you information, praise God. And this is for each and every one, mm, boys and girls, women and men. For us to take heed, pay attention. All right, praise God. So you hear the name of this song, praise God. We want to know more about the Lord. We always give some information and encouragement. And then we're going to read a scripture from the Bible. So you get the plain truth, nothing but the truth, from the word of God between Genesis and Revelation. Praise God. But we want to encourage everyone to give their life to Jesus Christ. This is the end of time. The time is now. Now we have to give our life to Jesus Christ, believe in him for everlasting life. He's the only way to heaven and, and to God, for, to paradise. Uh, not, not Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, no false religion, and cults or cults, Watchtower, Mormonism, or Rastafarianism, Obiaism, Bush Doctorsism, um, Voodooism, uh, nothing, no Illuminati, Freemason, Bilderberg, all of those lead to hell. Get out of lodges, people throughout the world, man, one, boys and girls. Get out of sororities. All these are cults. Uh, lodges and sororities and all of that. Cults are cult. Worship of Satan. Uh, the Bible tells us about witchcraft and witches and um, all these ways of the world that leads to hell, leads to destruction. We have to get out of it. Praise God. Read it for yourself from Genesis to Revelation. Praise God. All right, so Jesus Christ's second coming is imminent. He came once, and he died for the sins of the world. Now he's coming back again um, for those that believe in him, and the judgment and wrath of God going to pour upon the earth after which. Uh, praise God. The Antichrist, which is Obama, all of them is in place. Uh, the false prophet, uh, they said it's the Pope Francis, I believe it, it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a religious leader that's telling everyone it's all right to go along with the beast. That beast is the last world leader. Um, praise God, like the son of the devil. Uh -huh. I was trying to, uh, trillion times worse than Hitler. Uh, um, uh, try, uh, he, he wanted to implement his, his mark, his RFID chip, put it into people so that they become like, um, become satanic. They cannot be saved. Read it for yourself. Revelation chapter 6, Revelation chapter 7, Revelation chapter 12, 13, 14, Revelation chapter 16, 17, Revelation chapter 19, 20, 21, 22. That's right. Read the end of the book. Praise God. We want those that believe in Jesus Christ because God uh, planned to create and probably create already new heaven and earth for all those who believe in Jesus Christ. To all those that believe in him as your savior and king. Ah, we all know this common scripture, this very favorite scripture. Uh, St. John chapter 3 verse 16. And how about 17 also? St. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Praise God. If you believe in Jesus Christ, who God sent uh, as atonement for our sin, to pay for the sins, for our sins, so that we can go to heaven. Because sin cannot uh, go to heaven. Heaven is pure. Praise God. So it takes Jesus' blood, pure blood, to wash away our sins. Because Jesus was God in the flesh. Praise God, who died for our sin. Pure Pure blood, praise God. Uncontaminated uh, Adam fallen race blood. Uh, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Uh, and so uh, the virgin at that time uh, said, Lord, use me. Uh, and that was good. Um, but we don't worship her. We don't worship Mary or worship idols and statues and uh, statues and call people saints and worship them and pray to them. No, we want to pray to God, the Father, through his son, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. I want to pray to Jesus Christ. Praise God. That's, those are called idolatry. It lands you into hell. Praise God. Um, so, Jesus Christ's second coming is eminent. Praise God. Uh, in which a rapture will take place. Praise God. Um, people that believe in Jesus Christ and live in holy will be caught up away. Caught away to heaven for a great celebration. Um, called the marriage supper of the Lamb. Um, praise God. It's going to be chaos, disaster. The wrath of God is going to be poured down upon this earth. Um, earthquake, tsunami, um, destruction, no food, hardly dead bodies all over the world, 
all over the everywhere. A nuclear weapon release, destruction upon destruction. Mm, it's gonna be hardship. No, you can't feel love and joy because the Holy Spirit will be gone and the true believers will be gone. A lot of people that call themselves Christian will be left behind. Uh, a lot of Christians, because they, they live in double life, you have to be holy. You have to live, um, you have to, uh, and if you, whenever you sin, ask forgiveness for your sin and, and prone to live holy. Mm, praise God. That's some base right there. And then um, they'll be attacking uh, Obama, going to be attacking Jerusalem because he, he, uh, it's the hate is instilling him against Jerusalem. Israel is a sign is a sign that God, uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, God of Jacob, the God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the God of great prophet Moses, God of the great King David. Uh, yes, uh, God that created new heavens and earth, um, praise God, um, is, is God. So they are a sign. So the devil hate Israel and Jerusalem. And so that's why Obama, the son of the devil, uh, uh, who sell out his soul to do Satan's bidding, uh, the Antichrist, the beast. Um, the Bible called him man of sin, son of perdition, man of lawlessness. Read it for yourself, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Don't be deceived. Don't fall away. Um, believe in Jesus Christ and hold on to him um, because there's going to be great disaster after the rapture. Uh, however, uh, he's going to be processing people. If you don't take his chip, and be, uh, they want to behead you. Rather die. Let them behead you and die and go to heaven rather than taking the chip and live a few more years here on earth, and then you lost your soul for eternity. And by the way, those Christians and those people don't believe, if you, since you, you believe in Jesus Christ and you take the chip, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. The chip make you a part of Satan. Uh, the mark That's the mark of the beast. Don't you love Obama, Hillary, uh, Oprah, and all of them? Uh, Prince William, all, all of those, Illuminati, Freemason, uh, are you in these cult of cult lodges, uh, sororities, uh, these are cult of cults. Uh, demonic, you lose your soul. All right, so give your life to Jesus Christ and be saved uh, forevermore in him. Praise God. All right, so uh, sec um, the second chapter of Joel, Joel chapter 2 tells us, uh, God tells us long time ago, thousands of years before Jesus Christ came, uh, hundreds, of year, hundreds, hundreds of years before Jesus Christ came and thousand years ago, God revealed that in the last days, in our time, we are living in the last days right now. Praise God. How do we know? Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 25. Praise God. Tells you. Second test, second, uh, read, read from Genesis to Revelation. Um, praise God. The second Peter. Hey, Jesus tells us in the, in the end time. When you see all these evil stuff and disaster, world disaster. More so when you see the fig tree uh, and budding and so on. But now the fig tree is ripe, which represent Israel, Israel being a nation again. But now they've been a nation for seven, over 70 years uh, because um, God warned them through Jeremiah, uh, if you don't get it right and, and turn your life over to God and Christ, uh, yeah, uh, you, you will be scattered throughout the world. Uh, and read it for yourself. Jeremiah prophesied, yes, and even prophesied about Jesus Christ, who is the offspring of the great King David, who's going to take over the earthly throne and heavenly throne forever. And that's why Jesus came, um, uh, uh, the lineage of the great King David. And he's God. Since he's God and, 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 and Christ and man, he was 100% man and, and God. So he take over the earthly throne and heavenly throne. Praise God. Jeremiah chapter 23. Read it for yourself. All through Jeremiah from chapter 1 all the way. But Joel chapter 2 tells us in the last days, our sons and daughters will prophesy and our uh, God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And our sons and daughters are going to prophesy. Our old men will dream dreams and our young men will dream, will um, um, have vision. Praise God. So Jesus Christ has revealed a lot. Praise God um, to his servants recently. Praise God. Amen uh, to a lot of people that have near that experience, but more so those that Jesus tore through heaven and showed them the beauty of heaven. The greatest heaven visit testimony. Listen to that testimony on YouTube uh, or Facebook. Listen to the man's testimony. God took him to heaven and showed him the beauty of heaven. A lot of them, five days in heaven, uh, a lot of them will be coming up. Their testimony. These are people, uh, they put it on the world internet for you to hear. They're, they're blowing the trumpet, warning you. 
Be because Jesus tore them through heaven and he tore some through hell. And they see the beauty of heaven and how beautiful it is up there. Mansions made of gold, city of gold, the trees, everything is alive, is alive and beautiful. Landscapes, uh, the water of life and the tree of life. Praise God, the beauty of heaven. And then he tore some through hell. Millions of people lost their souls in hell. Uh, great people in hell. Uh, uh, famous people in hell. They see Bob Marley down there. He, he sent back a strong message that everyone must believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. He said, look at me. The messengers um, uh, that, Jesus, that Bob Marley sent the message that the Lord tore through hell. And you see Bob Marley. Bob Marley tell him, and uh, talk to him and said, look at me. Uh, my friends and my colleagues said I was a, a great representative of God. But look at me, I'm in hell. Uh, tell, and he sent back message for all Rastafarians to cut their locks and, and um, believe in Jesus Christ. Everyone must believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. Um, they see um, Michael Jackson down there. Uh, you, you need to watch this message on, on the famous World Net. You need to watch the message. Uh, yes, uh, from the messenger that the Lord showed. He, uh, in the name of here it is, uh, make sure you watch it on the world internet. On your phone or computer, Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitute, pastors in hell. Oh, that 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 message powerful, um, because Jesus tore people through hell and and he let them know and show them and he, and he and they talk with people that's burning in the pit, uh, and Jesus let uh, the messenger, the person that he shows, uh, touring through hell, or uh, they might have a near death experience and he down there, and they come back alive. The Lord allow them to come back to warn us here on earth and so even pastors in hell uh, you're not following the gospel and there was a pastor being tormented uh, constantly and uh, he was being stick and stabbed by demons constantly around the clock forever uh, until he get thrown into the lake of fire um, because he didn't believe in paying tithes we have to pay tithes we have to that's how you think uh, God's work gonna be monetary supplied uh, it, his work have to go for it. So it depends on tithes and offerings. Praise God. So that shows how real it is. Um, yeah. T how about this message? Make sure you watch it on YouTube. 23 Minutes in Hell by Bill Weeze. 23 Minutes in Hell. And uh, the Lord tore him through hell. Oh, he see he describe it. Amen. And he, and he look up the scriptures and the Lord show him. And he explain it well, he and his wife. Uh, watch it. Uh, he, uh, this man and his beautiful wife explain things. And the, he have a near-death experience. Uh, 23 minutes in hell by Bill Weasel. Bill Weasel. Guess what? I have a near-death experience in myself. That's why I know this is real. Uh, my body is well used. I've been all over the world and so on. Praise God. Uh, four surgical operations. Uh, first one in Japan, last one in Alaska. Uh, but he guess what? When I, was, when I, when I have that near-death experience... I believe in the Lord and I was baptized, but I wasn't living for him. And already the Lord was telling me to sing these songs and take the reggae music back. He blessed Jamaica with the most powerful music because our four parents, older generation that passed and so on, and those some still alive, they love him with the true love and they grow us up right. Praise God. So he blessed Jamaica with the most powerful music, the reggae music, for me to take it back. But my dad, I have a rite of passage. They, they call my dad, they give him some nickname for uh, singing and praises, his musical talent. I've known to play music and to praise God. Amen. And so I'm the last one. So he and I know to play these music just like him. And he's in heaven now. Uh, he and my mom. So they love to sing and praise the Lord. There was prophet and prophetess. God would give them dream and they would walk and warn the people. You see the people that's street preachers. It was like that. Praise God. And in church they sing and, and praise God and play music. Uh, so when I was in Alaska, the Lord told me to take the reggae music back. I have a rite of passage. Praise God. I have the talent. I have all what it takes. And my dad was a great musician and singer for the Lord. Uh, so he blessed Jamaica with the most powerful music. And the reggae music is so powerful. Uh, and it negatively, they use our culture to pass uh, marijuana and all of that in California and a few other states. Uh, and it's wrong. Marijuana and uh, 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 drugs, uh, it opened the body. Uh, for uh, for demons, for you to be demon possessed, they destroy you, destroy your home, destroy you and and all your blessing. Mm, so um, marijuana, cannabis, medical marijuana, uh, uh, cannabis, all these uh, smoking leads to hell. Yeah, I already just tell you about um, the 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 message. 
uh, uh, that you need to watch on YouTube. All smoking leads to hell, drinking, uh, drunkenness, and so on. Come on, adultery, fornication, masturbation, incestuary, uh, um, pornography, um, bestiality, uh, all these, uh, homosexuality, ooh, abomination, sickening to God. Mm, because that's like the devil saying, I thought, right, um, uh, switch things around. But God made Eve for Adam. Praise God. He made Adam and Eve. Praise God. All right. So make sure you um, um, take heed to these warnings um, because the Lord did let us know that in the last days he's going to pour out his spirit upon us and our sons and daughters going to be prophesied and see dreams and visions. The older men see uh, dream, dreams and the younger men see vision. Praise God. All right. So um, make sure you give your life to Christ. Uh, another one you must watch is um, Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. You must watch that, uh, Robert Smith, Helen Lake of Fire testimony. Uh -huh. uh, read it for yourself. Um, it tells us in, Je in in Revelation, the Lake of Fire. Oh, yeah, all through the Bible, but especially in Revelation, we conclude and you see everything finally. Uh, uh, every death and hell, that's going to be the last death. Uh, the Lake of Fire is the last death. It's going to be, um, um, it's there to punish Satan forever, who was an archangel in heaven, uh, deceiving, deceiver and destruction. Uh, of mankind and of the world. Satan, the devil, uh, that old serpent, that dragon, uh, going to be cast into the lake of fire. And and if, and if beast, oh, Obama, the uh, Barack Hussein Obama, uh, the, the beast, uh, he's going to be uh, possessed by the devil. He already is. He, he, he tricked us that he was a Christian. He tricked us first that he was born here in America. Uh, and I learned and read that uh, he was born overseas. And... Um, uh, the sheriffs and them in our authority already proved that uh, that that bogus cer birth certificate that he shows from uh, ho that ho from ho that he born in Hawaii wasn't real, and his gra grandmother said she was there when he born over there in um, Kenya. Yeah, so the president's supposed to be born here in the United States, one of the f 50th state. Uh, and then he triggers that he was a Christian. And in Islam, it, it says, because he's the Islamist antichrist beast. He's the Mahadi that they're waiting on. Just like how the Christians are waiting for their, uh, for Christ's second coming, uh, a lot of these Islamists is waiting for their Mahadi, uh, that leader that will Islamize the world. That's Obama. He tricked us. Uh, and, and he tells us, tell them in the Quran, uh, trick the infidel. Trick them, lie to them, deceive them. Uh, and so, and, and it's they said in the Quran, it says, the Allah of the Quran, Quran is the greatest deceiver. Who is the greatest deceiver, the Bible says? The devil. So they're worshiping the devil, Satan. And they, they think they're worshiping the true living God. He's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He's not the God of the great prophet Moses. Uh, the Islam of the, of the, uh, the uh, Allah of the Islam is not the, um, the God of Moses, God of, of great King David, of, of, of the Bible, of Jesus Christ, of the prophet. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's, the, uh, it's the false god, um, uh, big demons in hell, um, general demons that they come up with Islam uh, way back from the beginning. A lot of these religion is, uh, you watch these YouTube and the warning Jesus revealed uh, to, to us by a lot of them that he tore through hell, that Islam and and Watchtower and Mormonism, all of these was, and, and Harry Potter, all of those was uh, um, started, uh, founded in hell. A lot of the books, they have a, a li there's a library in book, library book in hell with all of these. They start down there and, and, and it's there to counteract Christianity and the truth. Praise God. So make sure you watch them. Here's some more. The recent one that I watch is Science Confirmed the Bible. Watch it, YouTube. Science Confirmed the Bible. Science Confirmed the Bible. Satan has a son, and he is here. Who is he? Uh, you, you ought to watch a lot of these, praise God. Amen. And, and uh, a, a Muslim visited by Jesus. Watch that message on YouTube. Testimony of Muslim who meet Jesus and receive forgiveness and the Holy Spirit. Uh, we have so many of them, praise God. Warning, God showed this man the judgment. You have to watch that. Praise God. Uh, watch Muhammad in Hell by Bora Choi. Uh, here's a very important message that you need to watch. 
and, and YouTube or, or Facebook uh, as placed by there by the, uh, the messenger. 15-year-old boy died for 15 minutes. God show him the end time, what's going to happen in the future, now and in the future. Watch the Israeli News Live, the 50-minute episode. Praise God. Watch uh, Robert Smith, uh, Hell and Lake of Fire testimony. Uh, here about, here's another one. Antichrist waiting for his father to end power. Watch that. Oh, you know Obama. Uh -huh. All right. Here, here's some. Uh, don't to fight against President Trump. God bless us with Trump. Praise God. The Lord bless us with President Trump. Yes, the Lord bless us with President Trump. Praise God. He said we can say Merry Christmas one more, once more. He said, uh, he said Christian can have the liberty of praising, worship God, bringing back America to a Christian nation, the freedom of of worshiping God and, tr and Jesus Christ, the Bible. That's what the, that's the founding of uh, the, the the founding document of this country, uh, that the um, Decla Declaration of Independence and the uh, Constitution is based on. Praise God. And so he uh, watch this message. Trump tells all, expose end time. Trump delivered prophetic warning to Christian leaders. You ought to watch those. Uh -huh. And President Trump, uh, you have to watch it, the one that says, um, Trump, let's say, if we ever stay faithful, um, uh, there's another word, um, to our creator, our, we have our greater days is ahead of us. That's eliminate right there, uh, Darwinism, evolutionism. Praise God. This man is a real Christian, and, uh, which Obama was the opposite, a uh -huh. uh, real Satanist. Illuminati, Freemason, get out of it. Uh, Billenberg, uh, all of these Satanists and devil worship and witchcraft, white witch, uh, everything, sororities, children in college, get out of it. Get out of sororities and all of that. Believe in the Bible. Muslims see and hear Jesus. Wow. Muslim visit, Muslim meet Jesus in a dream and get marked with an incredible sign for the rest of his life. Praise God. Isn't that beautiful? Miracle testimony, Chinese woman saved by Jesus Christ. Praise God. A saved man dies, end up in hell. You know why? Because he was living devil, double life. She died, went to hell, and heaven then wake up in the morgue. Make sure you all check out these websites on YouTube. Here it is. Hell is real. Come on. Oh, so many of them, praise God. All right. You ought to watch these, praise God. Science confirmed the Bible. My, un my encounter with Lucifer and Satan by Cherish Missionary Church. Everyone need to watch these. Um, Emmanuel TV, uh, Cherish, Cherish TV, and... John Chibway, Prophet John Chibway, um, praise God. Chicana Glory TV, yeah. And Emmanuel TV with, by Prophet TB Joshua. And Cherish TV by uh, Prophet J.B. McEnaneza. All right, just to give you some news now, praise God on what's going on. Uh, uh, we need the president uh, help. Soldiers and hospitals. Hospital, hospitalized veterans are still intimidated, intimidated by the anti-Christian directive, threats, and climate created during the uh, Hussein, Barack Hussein Obama years. They are afraid to pass out Bibles, witness to their faith, witnesses, witness to their faith, and even give the book of John to those in read. So President Trump is, is, is changing all of that, praise God. Amen. Mm. Praise God. Oh, we must praise God and thank God for uh, the Honorable Devin Dunes. Thank you for leading the task force in the House of Representatives to investigate the crimes of Hillary Clinton and her criminal co-conspirators. Co they have tried to f frame candidate and now President Donald Trump and cover up for Hillary and lawbreakers at the Department of Justice and FBI. I f fully support your, your sending criminal 
referrals to at Attorney General William Barr for investigating and prosecution and urge you to continue this work. Isn't that powerful? Yes. A major injustice. They try to um, destroy America and the world. Once America go, there go the world because the Lord set us in place as a Christian nation to feed the world spiritually from Genesis to Revelation from the Bible and physically and, and emotionally, spiritually and, and well protecting the world with our, our army, Christian army. Praise God. Uh, praise God for all you men in the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard and all those that service, servicemen. Let's don't forget that uh, in Romans chapter 13, we are all ministers Local law enforcement, uh, military, national security, homeland security, Department of Justice, IRS, all of those, uh, we, are, we are ministers of God to minister righteousness in the land. And so if you become crooked, you have to answer to God. Hell is there uh, waiting for you, so stop it. Read it for yourself, Romans chapter 13. All right, here's another um, repeal agenda, eight, agenda 21. We need Agenda 21, all of that to stop. Agenda 21 is a dangerous United Nations plan to take over America's cities and towns and take away many of the freedom that we Americans take for granted. The Agenda 21 is truly frightening. Agenda, Agenda 21 actually target as unsustainable grazing of livestock, paved roads, power line construction, building fence, fences, modern farming. United Nation, the United Nations literally want to take us back to the Stone Age. Hmm. Leftist President Bill Clinton and, and Bar Barack Hussein Obama signed executive orders that support the United Nations Radical Agenda 21, take over of our cities and towns. These dangerous executive orders must be repealed. Praise God. All right. The, um, praise God. A critical moment for freedom and, um, and American interests in the Far East. As you know, the people of the Hong Kong of Hong Kong are struggling to preserve the liberties and uh, autonomy that the, pre that the People's Republic of China promised to respect when the territory ceased to be a British colony. We have an opportunity to help them do so. Under the direction of the Chinese Communist Party, the Hong Kong government has chosen to ignore the, the demands of the people. Evidence that Hong Kong's civil liberties are no longer respected and that what is left of its autonomy is in extremis. In short, the People's Republic of China has broken its promise under the agreement signed with the British at the time of the 1997 handover. So we want the president, our president involved. Praise God. Amen. We don't want Hong Kong in the hand of China. In the name of Jesus. The massive protest that began just this summer in Hong Kong has has their beginning when Hong Kong's chief just chief executive introduced an ex extradition extradition bill that would force Hong Kong residents accused of crimes to be sent to mainland China for trial. Passage of this strangling bill would allow communists to reach into Hong Kong with its terrorist persecution of Christians and threatening many liberties that the people of Hong Kong presently have. The extradition bill is in direct violation of the Sinyo British Joint Declaration Agreement signed when Brit Britain turned over Hong Kong to China. This agreement grant Hong Kong the freedom to run their own economy, government and judicial system even though it was officially part of China. When the protesters grew into millions resulting in the shutdown, the Hong Kong airport and many government offices, the extradition bill was withdrawn in an attempt to restore control of the protesters. The communist China 
military also moved into Hong Kong with strong armed terrorist tactics, brutal communist military intervention. All these brutal military action spread the protesters in, into even wider circle because withdrawing the extradition bill was seen as a delay strategy to get the protesters off the street. See, they didn't want to, um, uh, they didn't change their mind. They just want to control the protesters. During, during the summer, the number of protesters in one place reaches reach an estimate of two million. The people of Hong Kong do not trust their government. Many, many more grievances need to be resolved. There is a deep, widespread fear that current grievances will erupt in more widespread protests. Now this monumental crisis dispute has come to Washington, D.C. and to the President, President Trump, to find solution. Praise God. Yes, and thank you for helping. Praise God. And we, and, and we pray the President, our President, uh, intervene, which he has. Praise God. And tell them to stop it. Stop the persecution of Christians are suffering in the mainland in China at the hand of communists. Christians are being suffered, uh, persecuted and suffered in the mainland at the hand, at the hand of China. You can stand in the gap for the Christians in Hong Kong and help protect them from the vicious, the vicious persecution that Christians are suffering in mainland China at the hands of communists. We want chi uh, China out of Jamaica and, and, uh, and Central America and throughout the world. You're showing a, a nice smile, but you, you are anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-biblical. Uh, you are fully Satan. Um, because communism don't work. Socialist, you know, millions of uh, people have been um, dead, killed uh, through the hands of China, chi uh, through the hands of communism, socialism, uh -huh. communism. Because uh, it don't give you the freedom and they, they, they separate you from God. Yeah, over, over this, um, the centuries, millions, hundreds of millions. All right, Nancy Polisky, uh, Chuck uh, Schumer and two other G uh, GOP insiders may soon have the legal power to overthrow President Trump. We rebuke that in Jesus' name. Congress is considered uh, legislation allowing these four DC insiders to have President Trump declare unable to discharge the duties of the office and remove as president. Rebuke you. Satan and Jesus. These, these Democrat, Democrat, they've been demonized. Stop it. Far left, they said, they call themselves. Uh -huh. Pushing everything anti-God, anti-Christ. Uh -huh. We need prior back in school. Stop abortion. All these cra uh, craziness, uh, anti-God stuff. Bring curse upon America and the world. Uh -huh. And stop pushing um, homosexuality. Before Obama left the office, remember the last thing, one of the last thing he did, he sent a message to the uh, school district. Uh, boys, if you think you's a girl, go in the girl bathroom. Girls, if you think you's a boy, go in the boy bathroom. Pushing homosexuals, trying to destroy our children. Thank God the children have sense enough not to run. And all you people that going running after that. Uh -huh. And President Trump, when he became a president, praise God, he said to uh, um, sent, uh, to California here, uh, leading um, state in the union. We're setting bad example. Proposition 13, when we, when, we, uh, when we passed Proposition 13, I think it's in the 200, uh, uh, we w that's why we was blessed. That's why we was blessed, California, when we stand in God's um, biblical term, marriage between man and a woman. Obama um, break that apart and so on and push homosexuality because he's the anti-God, uh, anti-Christ Islamist beast and destroy America all those years. And we need, uh, yes, and, and, and as a country, guess what? He have open border, have all these uh, uh, terrorists come into this country and all kind of drugs to destroy the American uh, young people. Come on, people throughout the world. You have to have control at, the, at your border around. Uh, come on, you already know that. There is no other way to describe this wickedness. This is a coup attempt. They try to overthrow this president that we, the citizens of America, have put in office. They're fighting against us. 
uh, previously, and he's going to win again 2020. Because guess what? Uh -huh. We have to have the man in place that God put in place. Praise God. He's just like Cyrus, uh, Isaiah chapter 45. Cyrus is a Persian king that didn't know nothing about God and the Bible and, and so on. But God tell him to build back Israel and Jerusalem. And, he, and God talked to his heart, and that's what he did. Uh, yes, praise God. And so we have a president, praise God, that um, see that this country was going down. He, um, he, before he became a president, he was a businessman. Uh, so uh, Lord, talk to his heart and bring back um, godliness to this country and to the world. Uh, yeah, President Trump. And so thank God for him. Praise God. Stop fighting against him. We want him in office. President Trump, 2020 and on. Uh, if not, this Christ has to come back for this world in Jesus' name. Uh, we need to keep him safe too, he and his family. Praise God. So this is a coup, putting Nancy Polinsky and Chuck Schumer uh, 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 coming up with ideas. A previously proposed bill creates some, something anonymously named the Oversight Commission on Presidential Capacity. This panel of 11 doctors would examine President Trump, declare him unable to discharge the duties of his office. Uh -uh, President Trump is one of the fittest men uh, of his age. Praise God. Amen. No one have the memory like President Trump do. Praise God. Um, this man, uh, the Lord revived him um, and kept him, praise God, for a time as this. So stop putting um, um, you Democrat and Democrat and you anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-Bible, um, devilish, hellish, uh, uh, put together some, uh, some group um, to test him and uh, uh, say he's unfit. No, he's fit. He already proven that. And these doctors are already proven. Who picked the doctors? Nancy Pol Poliski, Chuck Schumer, and them. It is a setup. They will issue a fake diagnosis. The whole thing is a Washing Washington insider, liberal coup to overthrow President Trump. And you better stop it in Jesus' name. Because God, God is still in control. And y'all fighting against um, President Trump, y'all fighting against God. In the case of Hillary Clinton, the, co the country has a right to know if it is know if its top official engaged in an organized effort to evade freedom of information public uh, disclosure law. Americans also deserve to know wh whether uh, Mrs. Clinton abused the office of Secretary of State in her effort to raise Ameri mil millions of dollars for the corrupt enterprise called the Clinton Foundation. Frankly, the American people deserve to know the kind of gov government Hillary Clinton ran as Secretary of State. Oh, we have the best president, African American president was coming up. Uh, what's his name again? And died in the 90s. Ron B Brown. And I heard she was behind Ron Brown. It. Yeah. Got him knocked off. His plane crashed. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was Secretary of something. Uh, praise God. He was. He would be the, um, one of the best president. That man was hardy. Praise God. No matter our mistake and so on. Yes. And they knock him off and then later on put in uh, Obama, the Antichrist. Trick us that he was a Christian. This woman put all kind of money into that f uh, foundation. And, and the coup that he s she set up and ran. And, this, and, and have our official die over there in Benghazi. So uh, we need all of that stuff in Jesus' name. Yeah. Abortion. And come on. Uh, we need to stop this abortion. Uh, yeah. Planned Parenthood in turmoil fires its president. Yes, because you're all doing all kind of wickedness. And, and abortion. All right, here's a testimony. I am a Muslim woman. I read the Quran and rec recite my prayers. In spite of all this, there is no peace in my soul. 
I hear this from a lot of testimony of Muslim. They don't have the right to have a connection one-on-one -on -one with God and feel love. Uh -huh. There's non nothing in there. You know why? Because the, the Allah of the Quran is a demon, big demons in hell. Uh, I met, because if you watch one of the YouTube uh, of um, Muslim died uh, near that experience, uh, and so when he went to uh, he have a tour, and when he stand before God, which is Jesus Christ, he said, Allah, I pray to you, and you didn't answer me. And Jesus said, I'm not your Allah. Your Allah is a demon in hell that you all worship. Yes, and that's what um, way back then, if you look back, um, um, the, the, the people there uh, in Saudi Arabia, they, and even it's going back way back to the worship of the sun god and the moon god. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nimrod and, and, and all of those. Uh -huh. It passed down, and so they just changed the word God, and they think they're worshiping the true God, God of the Bible, God of Genesis Revelation. No. You, you worship that same uh, um, um, devilish devil demons um, who is a principality in hell. It's a, it's a principality, it's a big demon in hell princi called principality, uh, organized by the devil to bring drag people to hell. And these, these people, these Muslim uh -huh, uh, extremists, they're blowing up themselves and killing each other and killing other people throughout the world and end up in hell. Look what they do, uh, um, uh, Islamic Brotherhood, uh -huh. all of you, uh, 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 ISIS, uh, what you all call ISIS, you all dying and dropping into hell. Uh -huh. All of you, turn your life over to Jesus Christ. Get out of it, you, you Muslim people. God loved the Muslim people. He don't, l he don't like uh, Islam. Islam is of the devil. And this Allah is not the true God. It's the God of demons in hell. So the Muslim lady here is saying, I am a Muslim lady. I read the Quran and recite my prayers. She do everything as the Quran tell her. That's what she's saying. In spite of all this, there is no peace in my soul. I met some f followers of Jesus Christ recently. I, re I, re I, re I, re I really would like to know more about this prophet. Your belief that there is salvation in Jesus seems to make good sense. I am looking forward to hear more. Praise God. So a lot of um, um, Christ, Christ, a Muslim is turning their life to Jesus Christ. And you hear some of the testimony that I, on YouTube message. You can watch it on there. Uh, right and left, they're giving their life to Jesus Christ and be saved. There is, there is a young group of representatives, just local uh, representatives, uh, which is Alexandria Oshia, 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 Oshio Cortez of New York, and I, I, Ayan Omar of Minnesota, Rash, Rashida Tileb of Michigan, and I, I, Ayana, A Y A N, Ayana Presley of Mi uh, Massachusetts, AKA the, the Squad. They call themselves the Squad. These women trying to destroy America, change America. Uh -huh, into destruction from biblical standard to destroy America. Make sure you get them out of office. Call themselves the squad, trying to destroy our president, our America, and, and the American well be way of being, which is moderately Christianity. They are far left politic polit politics are dangerous. They describe America as garbage. They don't apologize for anti Semitism. Semic uh, tweets, tweets. Chilling disregard for 9 11 terrorist attack. Some people did something, they quote, or disguising rhetoric on the calming effect of the Holocaust. This so called squad, these women, threaten everything you and I fought for and the hard work to protect life, Israel, our constitution, freedom, national security, limited government, and more. But don't underestimate them. These four freshmen, they just got in office, have clocked 
which they are used to push extreme, extreme socialist measures. Like Representative Alexandra Osh Oshio Cortez, so-called Green New Deal. Creating single, create, creating single payer government run health care for all and forcing taxpayers to provide an income to people unwilling to work. The actions and extreme, extre extremism do not represent America, its citizens, or our way of life, or our core values. Socialists, at our atrocities are clear. We see socialists, communist socialists, um, that kill millions and millions of people over the centuries. But young people today, including 20-year-old, 29-year-old Oseo Cortez, don't remember missile drills in elementary school during the Cold War or images, images of suffering families in exhaustive breadline in Soviet Union, in socialist country. Try to bring America into breadline again. Today we see it playing out in Venezuela. Uh -huh. Massive starvation, extreme, ex extensive human rights abuse, severe shortage of resources, all brought about by years of socialist corruption. It don't work. We have been warned, yet a, sig uh, a significant majority of of our of the House of Representatives and far too many U.S. Senators have announced their support for these radical proposals, including more than eight candidates who are currently running for president in 2020, trying to bring us into communist socialism. This is why uh, we have to do something about it. We must keep radical socialists, liberals, led by the squad, these women, and so on, and, and, and these three Islamists that's in, in office. One of them called President Trump um, uh, MF from getting out, getting our d democracy and destroy our way of life. We have to stop them. We have to expose five points to, to stop the raising tide of socialism. To prevent your way of, to pre preserve your way of life and to save our com constitution, with your, uh, we must expose uh, socialists. Prepare critical legal analysis. Show how socialists subvert the rules of law. Battle it, battle it at Capitol Hill. Yeah. Hold radical leftist politician accountable. We are taking on, uh, we need to stop abortion and all of that. Yes, we do. All of this we need to stop. In Jesus' name. We have so, more, so much to cover. But guess what? Mm. Uh, we shut that down and everything anti-Christ in Jesus' name. Because America was built on Christianity, the Bible. Praise God. All right, so we want to bring this song on. But before we bring on this song, praise God, we want to read the word of God. Amen. You hear information, and we give you instruction. Amen. And what's going on? Some basic stuff, what's going on? But now let's bring the true word of God so you can hear what thus saith the Lord. And praise God, some final words. Amen. Is Jesus Christ God? Yes, he is. John chapter 1, in the beginning uh, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God. Same was in the beginning God with God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. And the apostles, and they said, we, we touch him, the living Word of God, Jesus Christ. Isaiah 9, verse 6, unto us a, a son is given, unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Read it for yourself. And that's in uh, Isaiah chapter 9, praise God, verse 6 and on. Uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, 
Uh, he's the offspring of David. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh, that's Jesus Christ. Come on, all you Jew, uh, Jewish people must believe in Jesus Christ. People of Muslim, get out of that and believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. God was manifested in the flesh, seen by man, and all of that. Read it for yourself. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8. Uh, your throne, O God, is forever. Praise God. Jesus Christ. Amen. John chapter 8, verse 58. Before Abraham was, I am, Jesus says. All right. So make sure you look that up. Praise God. How about stress relief? Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Praise God. When you become a Christian, the yoke of Jesus Christ of God is easy and his burden is light. Praise God. You overcome the devil. Psalm chapter 60, verse 15. Um, that's Proverbs chapter 3. Read it for yourself. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and on. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you in due season. Give you peace. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto God. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Comfort one another with these words. It's a whole lot. Praise God. Amen. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Have pity on the poor. And God will bless you. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. I know the thought that I have toward you, thoughts of peace. Uh -huh. And with long life. Praise God. These are thoughts, praise God. Good thought of uh, the word of God. Stress, and the other one was that shows that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. He is God. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Praise God. Even, uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, offspring of David. Praise God. To rule the world. All right. Before we bring on this song, we always read a, uh, the Word of God and give you a chapter in the Bible. Solid Word of Truth. And we are at. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which is what happened to be one of my favorite or my favorite scripture. And it's about love. Here it is. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. They said, this charity is love. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly seek it not her own is not easily provoked think it no evil rejoice it not in iniquity but rejoice it in the truth bear it all things believe it all things hope it all things endure it all things charity never faileth but whether there be prophecies they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether there be knowledge it shall vanish away for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. No, I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abided faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. The greatest of these is love. Read it for yourself. First Corinthians chapter 13. Now let's get with the song. Praise God. Amen. I want to know more about my Jesus. Come on, let's know more about him. Praise the Lord. Lord of God, King of Kings.
Transparent gold. We'll also know more of our golden mansion. Of course, we'll know more than we know now. Music. Want to know more about Christ Jesus? Someday we'll know more. About our Lord, especially when we reach our heavenly homeland. Dear God, will give us our fear and just reward. We'll experience more of a glorious city than New Jerusalem. Made of transparent gold. Read it first, Revelation chapter 21. We also know more of our golden mansion. Of course, we know more than we know now. God, are you ready for him? People, are you ready for him? Are you ready for the king? Are you ready for Jesus Christ's second coming? Are you prepared for him? Yeah. Are you prepared to meet the king? Are you ready to reign with him? Everlasting life he brings. The rapture is almost here. Keep on tarrying. The rapture is almost here. Keep on waiting. The trumpet will be clear. For that great gathering, we'll meet him in the air. For that grand meeting, the marriage supper of the Lamb, we'll be celebrating new heaven and earth. Great singing, I said, new heaven and earth with glorious singing, 
New heaven and earth with serious praising Beautiful immortal body will be enjoying No more hurt and pain There will be no more killing Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the King? Are you ready for Jesus Christ second coming? Do you want no more about Christ Jesus? Do you want no more about our Lord? Especially when we reach our heavenly homeland. Dear God the Father, give us bread we will we'll experience more of the glorious city than New Jerusalem. Made of transparent gold, we also know more of our golden mansion. Of course we'll know more than we know now. People jump the wire, I'm one born and get here. Move your body and praise him. Give up our praise to the king. Worship and adore him. Magnify and honor him. Don't you want to know more about Christ Jesus? Someday we'll know more about our Lord. Especially when we reach our heavenly home. Dear God will give us our fear and just reward. We'll experience more of the glorious city than New Jerusalem made of transparent gold. We'll also know more of our golden mansions. Of course, we'll know more than. Someday we'll know more about our Lord, especially when we reach our heavenly mansion, homeland. Dear God and Father, give us our fear and just reward. We'll experience more of the glorious city. The New Jerusalem made of transparent gold. We also know more of our golden mansions, mansions for you and me. Of course, we know more than we know now. Than we know now. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Worship and adore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for him? Are you ready for the king? Are you ready for Jesus Christ? Say, come, come in. Praise God. We're going to know more about the Lord. Praise God. Hang on in there. He's coming back soon. Are you ready for him?
Won't you take the mark of the beast? Don't take the mark. Don't take the mark. We're gonna know more about the priest. Don't believe Obama. The beast. All brothers. Oh.